So what is your reaction, your official reaction to being the starter? Uh, I was incredibly excited. Uh, my coach Moore pulled me out um, to tell me about it. I was, I was extremely excited to, to win such an incredible football team. I thought it goes far as well. Were you surprised? Um, kind of. Uh, not surprised. I mean, I think uh, if either Jerry or I um, got the nod, uh, all I can say is that we, we were both prepared. Uh, we both worked our butt off for the last uh, few months um, as hard as we possibly could, competing as hard as we possibly could to, to lead the team, and I was just lucky to uh, have the opportunity. And of course, being a freshman, you know you're going to be tested. There's going to be a little trash talking out there for you from the opposition. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I always credit my uh, uh, my abilities to handle trash talking that Nigel and Jalil messed with me in high school. So uh, I think I think I'll be ready uh, for anything to happen in the field. Um, and if I'm not, the coach, coaching staff will definitely have me ready. Have you and Jerry talked about this at all? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's he's honestly a, a big part of the reason why I won the job because he's such a selfless guy. Um, and he has the teacher's best interest not in mind, not just his uh, not just his own. And I commend him for that. Um, he's, He's helped me up to this point. He's, he's going to continue helping me because he's not uh, a me guy or a guy. He's definitely a team guy. Uh, he just wants to see UCLA do his best. As we get closer to the first game, how will you control your emotions, your nervousness, those butterflies? Uh, you can't. I mean, you just got to kind of keep your head down, uh, get out of the field, do what you can coach to do. What told you in spring when you went through the first couple weeks that kind of confirmed yourself that you were ready? make this move to this. Sorry, what was the first part? When you in spring, the first couple of weeks, was there a moment where you really started thinking, all right, I am able to handle this level? The uh, questions were answered in your head? I think coming out of high school, you have to think you, you are, because if you're not, then you don't deserve the job, because there is a difference between confidence and arrogance, and uh, I like to think I can sort of dance that line pretty well. Um, because if you're not a confident guy, you're not going to. But, but vote thinking, well on the thinking field. you're capable of and actually getting that confidence. I mean, no, I, I've, I've been confident. I've been capable, I'm capable of leading this team since day one. I'm sure Jerry was the first day he walked on practice. He was probably disappointed when they made him a gray shirt. I mean, he, he, he probably felt he, he probably felt like he could take the team on since day one. I mean, it, that's how you have to feel. That's what a competitor does. Uh, that's why we're playing for UCLA. Did you get that feeling in spring practice, not spring practice, in, in training camp, that they were throwing everything they could at you defensively, just trying to give you a crash course in this? No, I mean, we got a new defensive coordinator. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not about me all the time. Um, I mean, our, our defense is, is doing a lot of different things. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen so much pressure in my life. Um, I'm really actually excited to watch our, our defense from, from a fan's perspective. Um, it's, it's They're doing what they have to do to get ready. Um, and, and Coach Bradley is a really big pressure guy. I mean, in, in, in the wake of getting his defense ready, he's helping me out to, uh, to learn how to handle this kind of pressure. But, yeah. How do you think you've done in fall camp? Uh, Overall, like it's I think I did pretty well. Um, it's really brutal. Um, but uh, I think as an entire team, um, we definitely handled it. Uh, went out the field and tried to grind every single day. Does playing at St. John Bosco that team, how much did that give you an advantage coming in here with this game? Uh, it definitely helped to get them out. Um, I mean, just, I mean, in essence, all offense is similar. You just kind of, all the plays are really the same. You're just adding more guys to the box. You're spreading more guys out. I the spread offense. Uh, I mean, power is power. Zone is zone. Counter is counter. Uh, fades to fades. You just add more guys to the line of scrimmage or not. Uh, I mean, it definitely helped running the system I did at Bosco. But uh, you have to be ready to take on any system wherever you go. What's been your biggest adjustment? When you're going through the recruiting process, how much was the ability to see the field early in your career a factor? Uh, that's a big factor. I mean, everyone in general in college football now is just better. More, or athletics in general is just better, more athletic. And the trend is to want to play earlier and faster. And a lot of guys are leaving the NFL early because everyone's just that much better. So I mean, it's definitely a, a lure to really get into a program and take it over to So is this your expectation that this would play out this way? I would say expectation. I'd say hope. Um, I, I really it's been a dream. Um, it's been a dream for a while now uh, to lead a this year, which is the fact that this, as a true freshman, this is that much, that much crazier. Uh, so, I mean, like I said, I'll work my butt off every single day and uh, try and get to this point. And what does the coaches tell you about that, too, that this is you know, on the table that you'll be in competition to, to play for them? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, telling me I have a problem day one is 
But uh, that really takes time. So what has been your biggest adjustment? Uh, nothing that has to do with football. <laughs> um, I mean, I said in an old interview that probably my first big adjustment was showing up for class. I had no idea how long a walk it was from the dorms to class. I mean, you've got to uh, manage your own time because when you're on campus, you're always accountable to be somewhere or not. You can't just say, hey, like my mom forgot to pick me up here and there. You really are accountable for yourself and, and everything that that goes on. Um, you can't point the fingers at anyone. It's all on you. Does, is, is there a certain amount of pressure that goes along with being the top quarterback in the country? Yeah, but you can't really think about it too much uh, because it's not like you're going to play different whether you're first or last or middle or whatever. Uh, you're not going to be any less or hard, less or harder. Uh, you're not going to throw. A, you're not going to throw against a cover. You're not going to throw a covered receiver versus an open receiver just because you think you can for some reason. I mean, I'm doing the same stuff. Uh, it's really not that different. Have you been able to take a head in your mind Saturday and then you're going to come out and like tunnel? Have you already imagined that? Or? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, I've imagined it since I started playing football. Uh, it's a dream. The road um, Anywhere. I mean, it's, it's been a dream, and and you just kind of have to be able to sort of handle handle the expectations and then count on count on your team and coaches and the support staff that we have because I can tell you I'm, I'm really not going to be doing that much. I'm just going to be distributing the ball to phenomenal players. We've got a lot of guys coming to the league next year, and I, and, uh, I really just want to get it in their hands. What have you seen in spring? summer that gives you an idea why people say it's the, ch the challenges for a freshman to come in to be a quarterback. Everybody says oh, that it's a tough thing to do. Have you seen stuff that shows you why they might say that? I haven't done it yet. I haven't played a game. So no, I've just seen the guys you've been going against in spring and so I don't know. I mean, I've been playing against a lot of good guys in high school that are actually starting as freshmen in Pac-12. we got Damian at SC. you got uh, Jaleel at Free Safety. Uh, I mean, Nigel playing at Washington, you got a lot of guys uh, played against the starting I'm not going to try and compare and say it's it's relatively similar, but I mean, I'd, I'd, it, like, it, to answer, I'd like to answer your question in two weeks. Yeah. How did Mora getting into you in San Bernardino motivate you? Uh, it's, I mean, it happens a lot more than immediate things. Uh, coaches are coaches, they, they yell, uh, they praise, they uh, do everything. I mean, if the music was on, you wouldn't be hearing a thing about it. Uh, I mean, I just, I know 100% that Moore has my back through thick and thin, uh, inside and outside of UCLA, inside outside football or anything, and I have complete trust in him and complete trust in this team, and, and whatever he does, I am the utmost confident that is for the betterment of myself as an individual and as a team as a whole. Have your teammates reacted differently since you've been named the starter? Do you feel you're in a different role now, now that you know or the leader? Not at all. Uh, you got to be the same guy every day. Uh, when, it's, when your buddy texts you to go hang out, it's not like you say, I can't now, I'm the starter. It's, it's just, it's the same guy. got to be the same guy every day. got to treat the same way. Uh, my friends from day one, back in the school, still treat me the same way. Uh, not a different guy. So. See you next time.